Congratulations on completing the first three independence exercises. Your fingers are gaining strength, coordination, and evenness. And this enables you to play the piano with more musical expression and ease because your fingers can move independently of one another. So let's begin exercise number four. Place your right hand over C, D, E, F, G, fingers one, two, three, four, five. Let's check our wrist placement. We want our wrist to be tall, not collapsed especially when we play our fifth finger. We don't want our hand to turn in that direction. Next, check your knuckles. Make sure your knuckles are arched and tall, not collapsed. We want our fingers to be curved. So be sure that your finger joints are not caving in like that. We don't want that to happen. We want our fingers to be playing on the tip of each finger. Hold down two notes, fingers one and three. We're going to repeat the second finger slowly four times. One, two, three, four. Next hold down fingers two and four. We're going to repeat the third finger. Keep your hand and wrist and arm relaxed, not tense. Now we're going to hold down fingers three and five. Extra careful for that fifth finger. We don't want this to happen. Hold your hand tall. Fingers three and five hold while the fourth finger repeats. And now we'll move to the left hand. Place your left hand on C, D, E, F, G, fingers five, four, three, two, one. Again, check your wrist. We want our wrist to be tall, not collapsed, especially when playing our fifth finger. We don't want our hand to turn. Check your knuckle placement. Again, keep your hand arched and not collapsed. We want our fingers to be playing on the tips, not with our joints collapsed. We're going to play E and G fingers three and one and hold those down. Repeat the second finger four times. Now we'll move on to fingers two and four. Check your finger placement your knuckle placement, and your wrist placement. And now fingers three and five. Keep your hand tall. And that completes exercise number four. Good job. I'd like to thank you for watching and remember to subscribe below to receive the latest training, teaching, and performance videos. Let's continue with exercise number five.